I'm Nancy Hudson, HHS Extension Educator with Purdue Extension here in Fulton County. And today we are going to make apple filled squash. I thought here for uh, the winter it would be a good thing because squash is one of those things where you know you can get it basically year round. This is an acorn squash and it of course is a winter squash and winter squash has to be cooked. Now many times if you buy a summer squash like zucchini, you can eat that uncooked. So we do have uh, some things here to do with the recipe, so I think I'll get going. So for one thing, you need an acorn uh, squash, and you can buy these at any grocery or get them at your farmer's market. Now the one thing, you want to look at the really green color of this and it needs to be really dark. Uh, this acre to make for four people needs to be about a pound in weight. Now the first thing that I did was cut the squash in half and then what I'm going to do is take the seeds out. So I will dig in and pull these out and put them off here on a just a little uh, paper here that I can get it away. Now, one other thing here that I want to do is probably uh, cut some of this extra out here to where we can get our apple mixture in. So, and remember now, squash can be a little stringy, so just work with it and you'll be okay. So this is how I'm doing this. I'm just going to dig it around and see if I can't get it loosened up in there just a bit. Now, the first thing that you want to do is put your squash uh, in a pan. You want to bake it for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Now, what the directions will tell you is to uh, put a, uh, like Pam or some type of a spray oil in your pan. But I have already done this. Uh, before and I know that if you just put the oil in there's going to be a little bit of burn in the bottom of your pan so what I've done I've got about an inch of water in here I'm going to put my uh, squash in and I'm going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes now while that is baking the next part that I want to do is fix my mixture that will go inside the squash. So to do that, uh, I have one apple. This is a gala apple. This one is somewhat sweet. So it's up to you what kind of apple you want, if you want it sweet or tart or whatever. Uh, this is also going to be mixed with a little brown sugar. So at any rate, it's ever how uh, sweet you want this. Now here's another thing. You can also peel this or you can leave your peel on because remember usually the peel uh, has quite a few nutrients and minerals so I'm going to leave it on this time but one thing here that I am going to do now if I can get my little jigger here to work out will be all right but I'm going to try to core this and See, folks, when you're on TV, nothing works. So this is just part of my course, you know. So the one thing I want to do here, I want to look these over and be sure that I did get all the core out because that can be a little gross if you're tasting core in this. Here's a little piece that I need to cut out. Now, what I'm going to do with this is just take this and cut this into some type of sections here. And you want to cut it somewhat small because you're going to be baking this and you want it to get done in time. So this is all I'm doing, uh, just kind of cutting at random. Remember now, you need your fingers, so I'll cut those off. And 
honestly, with that small of a squash and the cavity of the squash, you only need one. And one apple may even turn out to be uh, too much. So you can guess that when you get ready to put it all together. Okay, now the other thing that's going to go in this is melted uh, margarine. And there's about two teaspoons here. So I'm just going to pour that in. Give it a little stir. And in this cup, I have brown sugar, cloves, ginger, and cinnamon. So I'm going to throw that in as well. Once again, give a little stir. Now, when my time is up over here, I can go ahead and put this in the center. But for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and take my squash out and fill the center with it just to show you how to do this dish. very simple just to put it in a little bit at a time. And like I said, you might have a little left over because as you can see, uh, this is pretty full right now. Now, what you want to do is you want to bake this. You might want to get this stuff to lay down a little bit. That might be better. You want to bake this uh, for 30 minutes as well. So all in all, you have about an hour in this dish. So, uh, but it, it, it's good. It's, it's got a lot of nutrition in it as far as the uh, squash is concerned. Now, I did one this morning. Let me bring this out and show you what this looks like. What I'm going to do, if I can, I'm going to pull this over on this plate. Now what you can do, this is water, and you can just pour a little in here, because also with this water, it has a little bit of the apple juice that's still left in it. Now the other thing that you can do here is just to uh, take this, and you can actually, when you do the whole uh, squash, you can actually do uh, anywhere from four to six servings. Okay, there you go. And see, this is probably you would need to have this again. And as you can see, the squash is pretty uh, hot, <laughs> and it's also very pliable. So it's soft, it's good and ready uh, to eat, and if you were here, you could smell it because it does smell delicious. But this is what it tastes like. And you know the other thing about this kind of a dish, it does have the apple uh, cinnamon mixture in it, and it gives it such a good flavor. So many times with squash, uh, some people really don't see any flavor there. But when you do have the apple mixture, you can taste a little more. And it makes it so much more uh, pretty on the plate. So this is a good one that you could use uh, for this one. Listen, if you want the recipe for this, please give me a call at the Fulton County Extension Office. Have a good day.